Hey, Dr. Stoker. Hi, Gwen. What's up? A lot. What can I do for you? Well, do you mind me asking about the revision breast surgery? How often do you do them? What it entails? Why mm -hmm. do you have to do them? Okay, that's a great question. I've done probably 10,000 breast augmentations. i um, been doing it for uh, 20 years or more. For the most part, when I'm doing revision surgery, it's on patients who have either had implants in for a long time, where I have done them, or sometimes where patients have had implants but maybe had a suboptimal result or complications, so they're switching doctors and they become my patient. And I, I would say that one of the more common problems is uh, implant malposition. So mm -hmm. the implant is just not right on one or both sides. It can be too low, too far out on the sides. And sometimes it has nothing to do with the surgeon, it's just the patient's body type and the way that they, because these implants are not bolted to the body, correcting that implant malposition is a common reason. Another thing that we see is capsular contracture. You might have heard about that. That's yeah. like when the implants kind of harden, or the shell around them hardens, and it starts to take an unnatural shape. Uh, that used to happen to almost everybody who had breast implants oh, no. back in the 70s and early 80s and in 60s. Now it's a lot less common, but still one of the more common reasons for breast uh, implant revision surgery. That would involve removing the implants, we're peeling out that capsule and putting a fresh pair of implants in. Is it a, a totally different surgery when you're going back to revise a breast implant? Yeah, we usually revision breast surgery is more tricky. Mm -hmm. um, it's true of most, most operations, including breast surgery. Is there a higher percentage or chance of it needing another revision since we've already had a revision? It's a great question and the answer is yes. Capsular contractures, you wanna try hard to avoid them to begin with because once you get one, there is a higher chance of recurrence later on. Mm -hmm. You might say, well, how do you diminish that risk? Well, you want one of the latest generation cohesive gummy bear implants. Okay, they're less likely to have an inflammatory reaction in the shell with the surrounding tissues. We found importantly that putting the implant underneath the muscle is the pectoralis major muscle is very helpful at diminishing capsular contracture. We want to use a triple antibiotic and betadine washout of the pocket. What does that mean? We're going to kill any remnant of any microbacteria that might be in there. Even if it's not enough to cause an infection, it could be a little bit of inflammation that triggers a capsular contracture. And also the choice of incision location is important. These days, making incision underneath the breast or inframammary has been shown to have a significantly lower complication rate and a lower capsular contracture rate. So those at a minimum are some of the things that we're going to want to do to decrease that rate. 